I know why you're looking confused. That might be because the Tech Today set is looking a little different, especially with these books. Full confession, we do read, but since we're tech geeks, we like to read on our tablets. And that's a way a lot of us like to read nowadays on e-readers or maybe an Android tablet or an iPad. But these particular tablets come with several distractions. And then you can't replicate the experience that comes from reading a paper book. That's when we want to bring you over to the dark side using technology with the most reliable, consistent experience, which used to be a lot of people using older Kindles, right? This you must have seen with a lot of people. And honestly, it's good. It's got battery. It's got a fair amount of storage. You can access eBooks, all sorts of titles. It's not much of a strain on the eye and it is not much of a strain on the pocket, especially if you go for an entry level Kindle. Well, Amazon has launched the new Kindle 2022 11 Gen. This is the entry level Kindle. And I know it's called Kindle 2022, but it's come to Indian shores in January. And so we're showing you the Kindle first hand, first look and telling you whether this makes sense and whether you can actually replicate a real world reading experience on this entry level device. This is very tough to replicate the experience that comes with this and it's a very special one. But what I can tell you is especially if you're traveling a lot like me and ever since the world has opened up, we do tend to travel so much more, then you need a travel companion which could be one super device. But the problem with reading ebooks on your iPhone or on your tablet computer is that there are so many distractions. There'll be notifications from Instagram. There might be some photo you want to see, maybe a game you want to play. That's why perhaps when Amazon launched the Kindle Fire or the LED version of their tablets, which was a color display that didn't necessarily do well, because what makes Kindles work is the fact that they are elementary, rudimentary and they serve a purpose and they serve it really well. They're compact, they're economical and they have fantastic battery life. One grouse with the entry level Kindle earlier used to be the fact that it didn't come with USB-C. Well, welcome to 2023 Kindle 2022. It comes with USB-C charging. It's also quite light at 158 grams. But now in 2023 with the Kindle 2022, Things have become a little more complicated because it comes with a lot more PPI. So the pixel density is better. Hence, the reading experience can be a lot better. Now, in terms of user interface, Amazon has really fixed things when it comes to their UI. Yes, it's very elementary with left clicks and right clicks to move pages. But that's what you want when you're talking about an e-reader, which just means reading books. So you can obviously access your library like this. You also have the Kindle store. Very good recommendations coming as soon as you connect it to Wi-Fi. Much better battery life. So in terms of the user interface, Amazon has that sorted. And I think it being elementary is what makes this a very popular e-reader. It also comes with an adjustable front light, like I was saying, with four LEDs. Dark mode is quite useful and also means lesser strain on the eyes in darker settings. Now an extended battery life with USB-C charging. The fact that you can last maybe five to six weeks on a single charge. It also comes with 16 GB storage, double the storage capacity of the previous version and Bluetooth for audiobooks and text-to-speech function. It also has very accessible themes here. You can change the layout, you can change the font, you can also do all sorts of things like show a clock while reading, book mentions about the book. You can also sync it up with Goodreads and get the sort of IMDB-like rating for the book that you are using. This for under 10,000 rupees on a sale you might just get for eight or 9,000 rupees is a very good investment. And it has been with each and every generation. Strangely, the biggest competition for the Kindle comes from the Amazon Kindle stables. And it happens to be the Kindle Paperwhite, a very popular device. But if I'm shopping for it right now, it costs nearly 12,500 rupees on Amazon. I'm getting delivery in less than 24 hours on Prime. The only thing I'm missing out on on this Kindle happens to be one feature, which is waterproofing. This is not waterproof. This is not waterproof, so you can't take it anywhere near a bathtub or out in the rain or any sort of moisture. This guy won't deal with that very well. More importantly, that is 6.8 inches when you're talking about the screen. This is around 6 inches 
at 158 grams i think this is much better in that department holding it is so much easier putting it in your pocket is so much easier and traveling with it is a breeze so the price difference is around 2 to 3000 rupees between this the entry level kindle and the paper white then i think this is a better bet but if it's a great amazon sale and you're getting a good deal on the paper white maybe getting it for 1000 rupees more or 1500 rupees more then maybe the paper white makes sense otherwise the new kindle 11 gen 2022 is a safe bet if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe